On the first charge of falsifying business records. Guilty. On the second charge. Guilty. On the third charge. Guilty. On the next 31 charges. Guilty, 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 guilty. That's right. Guilty, guilty, guilty. The sentencing for this. This is, gets weirder and weirder. The sentencing for Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, is four days before the RNC in Milwaukee. I feel terrific. Thanks, Cap. Wow. And we already know. I mean, you and I both have done this too long. Every Republican right now is 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 writing out there. How dare this, you know, court find him guilty? Two systems of two tiered system of justice and corrupt, uh, you know, judge and biased blue Manhattan, and you know, they'll come up with every ludicrous thing one could possibly imagine to say yes. Well, um, how do you think this is? I mean, there's got to be some undercurrent against him having a felon on the stage. <laughs> I mean, I know they're, oh, they're all cowards and they don't want to speak out against them until they retire, but there's got to be something that you, you've got a convicted felon now who is your nominee for president of the United States. Harry, guess who's here? How's my best? You'd think it would give um, more credence to the things that Liz Cheney has been, have been, you know, that Liz Cheney, Adam Kingsinger, folks like that have been saying. Really, Liz Cheney, because she's such a big, that's such a big name in the Republican Party. But yeah, you know, a whole group of, of folks like that who've been, you know, Mitt Romney, others. I mean, again, I don't know. It, it really should make it interesting because, again, you know, Laura Trump has already taken over the RNC. They're, you know, his, his family, I mean, the way that these people bow down to him and uh, who, you know, criticized him and called him a con man, people who, who are just absolutely pathetic, like Marco Rubio. I don't know if they can go back on that, you know? I don't, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know if they have the, the courage to stand up to him. So I'm not sure who would. So, I mean, I think they're going to end up having a felon on stage. You call it flop? Real flop has got chunks of things in it. This is more like gruel. And this Chateau LeBlanc 68 is supposed to be served slightly chilled. This is room temperature. What do you think we are? Animals? I mean, I don't, I don't really understand how this works. It is a weird situation we haven't had before. Usually it's the Secret Service who are keeping felons away from the president. Yeah, that's usual. But in this case, even though the man does have multiple personalities, it seems, they can't separate him physically. So I'm not sure what they can do about that. So um, let's, if we can, let's let's step back and look at these other court cases. Now, once again, the Supreme Court is going to rule whether or not he can be held accountable at all. That doesn't take all of his cases off the table. It just takes the federal cases off the table because state cases still can get prosecuted. You have George out there. More than likely, it sounds like Arizona now is going to probably come back with that's some been sort of, moving. Yeah, some sort of indictment against Trump. Mr. Rock and Roll, cocky as hell. What this really does show, and once again, I, I have zero doubt that the Supreme Court is going to get a tremendous amount of pressure right now from the right to basically oh, find him that you can't hold him accountable because it was so clear this was such an easy slam dunk of a choice when it comes to the January 6th trial, when it comes to the, the, the Mar-a-Lago documents trial, those look like slam dunk trials. So there's going to be tremendous pressure to find him to where he can't be prosecuted. But at the same time, they find that, you know, then Biden should just go arrest the six of them the next day and replace them. Well, I mean, if that's the country they want, if they honestly, if that's what they believe our Constitution says, I guess that's their interpretation of it. Well, if Gorsuch, Gorsuch, I mean, how many how many RVs is it going to take for Thomas? Uh, Thomas Alito and, they, and Alito's wife has to set, put all the flags on top of the car, you know, before they. They drive on over, so that's going to take a bit of time, too. Well, what, what flag's flying at her house now? Can we go get into live update on what's at the Toledo house? Uh, Hopefully uh, the white flag, because that would be great. Oh, well, it would be, but, you know, hey, that's maybe a five-star review, uh, uh, you know, uh, flag. The Gorsuch is probably along with them. Here it comes down, because I don't think, um, you know, Chief Justice is going to go along with it, and then it comes down to Kavanaugh and Barrett, and I don't know. You know, it, it, it will it be a five four ruling? I think it will, 
but I think it, you, you're going to come back. I think it's going to be close, but they're going to say you got to be able to hold people accountable. Guilty. 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 Guilty.